my brother brought a camera home from Vietnam for me because we always tinkered around with them. You know, mom took pictures, a lot of them. So that might be where it really started. She might have gotten me going, but. Uh, you remember some of your first images? Oh yeah, they were like some I took today, not very good. <laughs> no, they, I had no idea what I was doing. I just, you know, got riding a bucking horse and I'd pull the trigger. I didn't have any idea about timing or anything. But a lot of it, trial and error, as you well know. And, uh, you know, going into it after looking at images that you thought that impressed you, you kind of had an idea of what they liked, you know. For instance, if a calf roper's roping the calf and then he's stepping off, hanging in that stirrup and that horse is in the ground like this, you know, and everything pretty, you kind of had that idea of that that must be the way you take him. And then, the, of course, the bulldog are getting down and cranking one around like that. And then you knew that a bronc had to be stretched out, but uh, it was easier said than done sometimes. A professor at Casper College knew that I was interested and he was a photographer and he offered to teach me the darkroom techniques. I was hooked on that immediately, seeing the, seeing the stuff that you took uh, in your process and yourself and, and doing it manually, you know, that, that was a lot of fun. And, you know, the digital era everybody's a photographer she bring it hand oh this girl here can do anything she can feed cows she can build a house and she can build pictures and a pretty good sandwich I enjoy meeting the contestants talking to the contestants seeing what they like you know they tell me what kind of pictures they like what they don't like and I can pass it along to him you get to know people you get to know their families, wives, kids, and now it's at the point where you start to see them growing up. You start to see the guys that he took pictures of and you start to see their kids come along and they think that's pretty neat. They're like, you know, my dad had Hubble photos on the wall and now I finally get a Hubble photo. You have world champions that never bought a picture, been to the NFR five or six times, never bought a picture and now all of a sudden they're at the end of their career and those pictures mean oh. something and can I get some? I want those pictures. You'll have a buckle or a trophy here and there in a saddle, but the images you can say, that's the way I rode right there. <laughs>